level where I want to see myself at the end of the day, I know that I'm still doing the work along the way now. Right. But I think when I really understood what I was doing, probably it has to be last year when I first um started the Lyrical Cafe with nice. some money. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look back now, Shmoney. yeah, shout out to Shimoni, man. Shmoney. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look back now, I'm able to say, wow, I really took a whole year and a half, yeah. a whole year and a half off from just focusing on just K rules, you know, right, just right, my right. music or what I want to do. And I was like, okay, let's bring other people up. Let's right. help other people. Like, the focus was on me. We should be the focus to build something right. to bring up other people. And I feel like, you know, even if I didn't understand it, it, it get greater later. Right. And you're learning a lot so as you go. I along. guess I'm just now learning that that's what I'm doing. Got you. Now, I have a question. Seeing as you're in the field, you are, you know, reaching that hand back or extending that olive branch to other artists. Has that been rewarding for you, or would you say it's not worth it? Um, I'm, I'm in between, if I'm going to be honest, because um, I didn't know everything that I was getting myself involved in. Mm. You know, I didn't really understand, but I'm so... I'm so headstrong. Right. I think a lot of people know that about me. So like, and I'm a Leo. So even if I, yeah. even if I understand <laughs> it, like I ain't know that. I didn't know I was finna build a business. Or yeah, I didn't know that it come love. with like energy or a certain type of head. Ooh. I didn't know that certain people that love me weren't gonna love me no more, or Ooh. people was gonna go try to build the same thing. That's when I really knew I had someone. Yeah. I saw people get inspired, be happy for me, then could be like, okay, you know, it seemed like they want it for themselves. Then it's like they get mad at you for doing what you're doing. And it was like, wait, you was just happy for me. That's a terrible thing. You know what I'm saying? So whatever type of thing it is, I ain't know what I was getting myself into. But I'm a diehard, and I'm talking about it's Lyrical Cafe to the end. Type of shit. You got to get it. it. You know, it. some kids, they're real business. We're going to go on yeah. tour. We're going to hit the streets. Everybody know it's been a lot of transitions. We don't have some money no more, but... That's, that's just, you know, in spirit, he's still here. Right. So we're going to be grown. We're going to be as big as, as big as wilding out. When real talk, TV. real talk. So, TV. that's everything that you do. Not everything, but that's on the scale of talking about what you do for others, right? Yes. So, let's get into it. I heard you mention that you first started rapping when you was nine years old. Is that right? Yeah. So, what was yeah. your, your first rap? Was your name K. Root back then? No, I was Lil G. Lil G. Yeah, my family used to, I used to go by Lil G. What does um, the G stand for? Lil Goddess. Oh, okay. You know, because I was always, I was always yeah. grounded in the church, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know, you know, my people know I'm Y'all watch out for Lil Goddess, y'all. For real. Like, yeah. you know, I got the street side to me, but I yeah. also got my godparents that kept me in the church, so that's why I'm like, right there, you know what I'm saying? Right, I know right, how right. to get out there with the sinners and connect, but I also know how to go to the and do what I need to do with Most the saints too. But yeah, little goddess, that's what it was. So that's how I know even now I could look back and say, I was on to something then. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. That's why I be so inspired when I see my baby Kanari. Yellow, you know what I'm saying? Shout her out to my baby. Years old. I love her. Where her, her at? Her, she's in the building. What? You know what I'm she popped up. Y'all, so, so is this Canary or Canari? But yeah, I, I thought but, it was Canary. Like a little I, bird. I got Come on, baby. Country, a country little accent. I oh, always Mary. be saying it. What's up, baby? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, You're so precious, oh, y'all. Oh, my God. That's this is the real bad. princess real of city right here. I was talking about, and I stamped that. Seven I mean, years I was, old. Because when I was her age, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of in my parents' head and things like yeah. that. But I felt mm -hmm. like, you know, God already know how it be with time, and maybe oh, if he didn't want it for me then. But I used to feel like, man, I wanted it just as bad then. Nobody right, didn't right, right. see me. So, when I, man, I, I love her. She, everything. Yeah, you out there, little mama. Everything. I ain't gonna, you got everybody's attention. And she That's got good. Support. You gonna have to keep it, too. But don't don't keep it the wrong way. Keep doing your thing. Keep being yourself. You're doing so excellent, okay? Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you stay true to you, too. okay? Go follow me on Instagram at Canary Yellow, the number four, and period. My name is that with a K, not a C. Y'all gonna let me be in the video? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like, it was just so rude, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, um, we don't have a problem. Well, how you don't know K. Ruth in Tampa? It, it wasn't even about her knowing me because I don't want people to feel like it was some entitlement thing. Like, it right. wasn't even about her knowing me. It was the fact that, damn, you arguing with the owner telling him what he could do in his club. Yeah. He sat me here, so I don't have a problem moving now. Him and her exchange words because he's like, well, it's my club. I told her to sit here. It's obviously misunderstood. Right. And so he was trying to say, is it okay if she sit here? And she kind of just like, no, this is my session. I was bored tonight. And, I told him at that point, I never want to be somewhere where I'm not with. Right, right, I don't right. want to so sit I'll there. It's go. fine. Let it go. So he took us, bought us drinks, and, you know, we kind of let it go. But it really was crazy because to me, it was like we could have networked. We could have right. done something. Like, I Which wasn't on no groovy stuff. Like, and I can honestly say this. I look at it from three angles because the owner was like, you want me to shut it down? This? I'm like, no, like, I don't want that. It's already so much strife and things out there. You know, you, right. you got to just be careful. Mm -hmm. But... I was just, my whole thing was, I was like, um, I sell sections at my events. Right. So I know how it goes. It's going to be plenty of times somebody might be sitting up, but a person that done paid showed up. So now I got to go be like, hey, can I get you a yeah. I'm not finna, oh, big dog, man, you ain't pay the night move. Yeah. I'm not finna do that, because that's yeah. not how, it's the it's way you do things. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? I'm going to politely, like, hey, um, to y'all. And it's going to be plenty of events I've been booked for. And I ain't know everybody that was sitting in my section. I walk yeah. on people. I, yeah, you can see her. Yeah, you can take a shot. That's what networking is all about. But yeah. it wasn't my show. It wasn't the K-Room show. So I let it go. You know right. what I'm saying? But I think it was the, uh, the reason why I addressed it is because if you continue to let small things go, small things go, it yeah, builds yeah, up. You know come, what I'm saying? Come across your face. Yeah. Hell yeah. So forget all that. I, I'm glad that it's not something that's going to hinder your career. But it's nice to know that as a celebrity of the city, you still go through real life stuff because... Oh my God, that's not even half of what a person is going through. That's yeah. just like some uh, wrong place, wrong time, wrong feeling situation. But right. it really be stuff going on out there. Like people really hate you for being, hate you for being. Yeah. But we're going to focus on the ones that love you, right? That's what I always do. So you know, on. focus on the love. I think that's why I've gotten as far as I am. Type shit. Focus on so for the rest of the year, cause we really, you know, we're going into August, so it's almost like ground time. It's about to be twenty twenty four. August my birthday month. It's a whole lot of you know, you know little shit. shit. It's okay. a whole lot of stuff on the way. You know okay. what I'm talking about? And y'all gonna be seeing me rocking a lot of blue. Oh, okay. Because that was your money fairy color. Yeah, you know okay so then. Have <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So with that being said. Give me your top three out of Tampa real quick. My top three artists yep. out of Tampa? Yep, right now. First one, KB. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Shimani always loved his flow. I always loved his flow. He got his own sound, and it's really unique. Okay. Um, oh, man, damn. Why nobody be asking me this a lot? And then this is uncomfortable because I would Those are not the promote their cafe. Like, it's so many artists. Man. Come on. I got two more artists. Yeah. Canary and it, Yellow. Okay. The and princess of the city. She's the youngest hardest working artist in the city. Tight and shit. My third artist. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Young Dread. Okay. You know? Okay. Young Dread. Especially. Young Dread seen me out there selling CDs. And he's the one that stepped to me and was like, you know, Kerry, I got a club in E Boy City. It's mm -hmm. called Daddy's Patio. He was like, I'm trying to do something with it. Whatever you can come up with and create, like we know that you sell CDs, so right. we want to see if you could. What else you right. can sell? He sat us down, and I, I was like, what well, can I bring my partner in? Cause I don't want to do that without my partner. We do everything together, right. and he the one who pretty much gave me that idea and was like, man, just come up with something, and that's how we came up with lyrical cafe. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's, that's why it's always YTC at the top, cause it's um, Young Dre is really like the. Everything. Like, it, it was the whole, like, yeah, just the, the opportunity of yeah. building, a free building, just to come up, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we all YTC affiliated, you know, okay, definitely, man. I say him because he got his own label, his own team, he's an entrepreneur, right. and, and to be a I leader, like you got to be able to be a student. I feel yeah. like I learned a lot from him, like, he didn't have to give me a shot in his restaurant, his restaurant yeah, has yeah. turned into a whole platform. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Most definitely. Young Dread, Canary Yellow, and KV, man. I'm on top.
type shit. Okay, so give everybody a song that they need to go put on repeat tonight, where they can find it, how they spell your social media. Okay, okay. Y'all go check out Threads, K Roo, Threads, out now on all platforms, man. It's the latest out out right now. Yeah. I was the first female to drop a Threads track. Tell yeah. Soulja Boy to holler. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then when you listen to Dread Threads, don't yeah. forget to go stream Have Emotion. Because we really have emotion. Shout out to all my videos. The video shoot will be my birthday week and TV. So, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, I know y'all shout out to every other artist in the city doing their thing. Really? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of artists out here. So, if I make it, we all make it. If one of them make it, I pray they. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? Look out for me. And shout out to Wild Hip Hop for believing in me. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. Rocking my little Dej Lopez. Oh my gosh. Dej Lopez. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. She said back when I was rocking my little Dej Lopez. I love that. Really? Yeah. Oh, you know we gonna always get it in. You know we gonna always get it in. I love you. It's a real spot. Yeah, take a picture real quick. Yeah, take a picture real quick. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.